I am going to win at food description, which is a normal thing to want to win. Four dishes, one lucky student. Which one will win her heart? Hi everyone and welcome to Food for Thought at Curtin, where we get to know some of the best food options on campus. I'm your host Jess and for my final episode, I'm treating myself with some of the bougiest food options Curtin has to offer. Let's go. So today I'm having a little bit of a self-care moment. I don't normally get bougie food on campus, so I'm excited to see how our contenders do and which one will end up winning my heart. I was yeah. so tempted to then say, and my stomach, and I'm like, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we're at the end, this is your final episode, why did you sign up? I was going into my third and final year and I'm like, let's do like a little bit <laughs> to be part of the university. This came up and I went, oh, I like eating food. <laughs> it was really great getting to meet such a wide variety of people across all the episodes. Someone studying their masters or students who have just started and who have come from another country. And it really like opened my eyes to the different ways that you can experience both food and campus life. All right, so first up, we've got the salami and Swiss cheese sourdough sandwich from Concept Po, and it has been nice and toasted for me. So let's give it a go. Normally I get them to speak first so I can not speak with a mouthful. <laughs> the toasted bread is incredible. Sometimes with sourdough, you can get it quite tough and hard to bite through, but this was easy as. The rest of the sandwich didn't go all squishy. You've got that Swiss cheese at the top and then the salami. So you've got the variety of flavors, the variety of textures. I've got spinach in my teeth now. It's not coming. <laughs> so the next food on offer is the teriyaki chicken bowl from Common Ground. It's so pretty, which is the start to any treat yourself food. It needs to look good so it can reflect you looking good, obviously. Mm. Okay, so I tried the cabbage first. This is pickled cabbage, so it has a lot more flavor and you get the semblance that you're being healthy. And speaking of health, we've also got avocado, some cucumber. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a really good teriyaki flavor. It is a strong flavor, but the fact that you've got the rest of the bowl to balance it out, whenever you take a bite of rice, the rice also has this really nice teriyaki flavor on it as well. So reflecting on the season, what is your favorite episode, favorite food? I have to say that my favorite episode was actually probably the gluten-free one. My favorite food that I've tried all season is still that brownie. You might remember I did absolutely go on and on. And I also absolutely adored the chaos that we had on set that day. Good vibes, good vibes. <laughs> so next up, we have the Choc Brownie Scroll from Cinnamon. I do have a little bit of an obsession with brownies. We might get a little bit messy with this one. <laughs> it's all over my face already, I can tell. That's a good sign. Might recommend using a fork if you have one. You can taste the cinnamon. <laughs> it's definitely still the cinnamon scroll with all this extra on it, which is great because the cinnamon scroll on its own is great. So you add brownie and it just becomes double great. I'm gonna go straight for one of these pieces of brownies. Oh, there's like whole chunks of chocolate. I'm gonna lick all my fingers now. <laughs> So last contender, we've got a churros chunk filled with Lotus Biscoff from IGA. And I'm really looking forward to this one. I might take a really big bite. Please ignore that. Mm. My immediate thought with this one is it tastes like Christmas. The churros with the sugar and all the spices and everything. Who doesn't love Biscoff, honestly? The spreadable paste, incredible. And that's basically what they've got in the middle of this cookie. And I am in love. It's a very chewy, don't want to say the word moist. I absolutely adore the texture and consistency of this one. It's also not too sweet, which is really good because for something covered in sugar, you'd probably expect it to be like overwhelmingly sugary. So Jess, what are your final thoughts? Which one has taken your heart today? This has been a really hard decision. We've got some really great contenders here today. I care for each of you <laughs> deeply. <laughs> but I think that there is a fairly clear winner here today. I stated it quite a bit that I do love my sweet treats. So today I think I am going to have to give my rose to the cookie. I am declaring my love for this one in particular, but all of them were incredible. This was a very tough choice. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching this episode of Food for Thought at Curtain. I'll see you in the blooper reel.